Okay, welcome to another fun episode of Working with Abritus. And today we're using the Abritus programmer, the RH850. And this, my friends, is a Ford uh, BCM out of a, I want to say it's an F250, but the F150 has the same. So we're going to start the programmer. And you can tell it's laundry day. That's the old machine going in the background. Yeah, I know. I should have this great, big, wonderful. We're going to select RH850. We're going to go for the BCM in the Ford. We're going to go to test connection. Usually it comes back and it says something about make sure the connectors, make sure all the capacitors are removed. Now, if you get that and you go, oh, I better redo it, don't. It's just telling you to do that. Okay, you sure you want to read? Damn right. So now it's updating the programmer. Check the programmer connection. Well, I don't know about you, but Let's hook up the programmer again. Imagine that. It'll see it and it'll test the connection, but then it has problems. Oh, I guess my other one was updated, but it blowed up. So now we're gonna do an update. Okay, reading memory. Okay, updating data to server. Okay, there's the VIN. Now your data is saved and now you can program keys with the Ford offline. I don't know where that saves it. So I'm gonna tell you right now, go down, click the save to file button. And I'm in the Abrita software and I am gonna go to, well, I'm gonna try and go to the Ford software and put it in that folder. Cause I don't know where it puts it. So I don't know, is it in files? No items. So I am gonna put this and call this 2022 F250 BCM. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm also going to go back one just to Ford. And I'm going to do the same thing. So it's going to be a 2022 F250 BCM. Okay, so now that you have saved it, you're basically, I mean, one thing, display hex. Look at all that. Isn't that sexy? I'm sorry, I can't read that crap. <laughs> I don't know what it means. But what I can tell you is it reads the data and display data, display hex. So you can see it sees our VIN and then your data. So basically you go back and you put this back together and I know it's really pretty hard to see and I don't know if I can zoom in, but do you see those two little resistors? Yeah, if you don't have glasses and something like this to see it with, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be doing that. So just so you know, there's two little ones and I don't know if I can zoom out. Um, if you go down here to the wiring and then zoom, 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 those are the two resistors that you remove. And then you go ahead and you solder the gray wire 
and you can see my gray wire there. Now, this is just me, and I'm sure a Brittis will freak out and throw all kinds of jabs at me. Do you see where I have the brown wire hooked up? Do you see the end of that resistor? Trust me, do you know how much heat it takes to heat that board up and try and get something to stick on that? There is 0 0.1 ohms difference between this and that. So, I'm really sorry. It works, and that's where I'm going to. So if you actually look on this, it's this big resistor right here. I go to that side of it. So, okay, so we don't have the truck. This actually came out of a truck that was getting torn apart, and... I got the BCM. So we're gonna keep this so we can show people how this works and how you read it. Stay tuned.